Oh, there's a big one. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be fishing a pond and I wanted to throw the Guggen Squad clickbait around. I haven't done this yet and it looks like it's a good day for fishing. It's a little bit overcast right now. We just had some rain come through, but that has stopped just long enough for me to get a small window of fishing time. In. So let's get down here to the water and let's get to fishing. All right guys, we're here at the pond and we're gonna be throwing this Guggen Squad clickbait. Pretty sweet, it's like a red color. And then I've uh, paired it up with the Guggen Saucy Swimmer on the back. So let's, uh, let's see if we can't hook up on a fish here. It's actually a new location. I haven't fished this spot before. So hopefully get us a little fish action here. There's a the fish. Not a bad one either. Not bad at all. Straight up gulped that thing. Nice. Pretty little bass. Nothing wrong with that. Let's let him back into this mossy pond. There you go. There he is. Another dink. It's not too small of a fish, but ain't huge. Beautiful colors on that one too. That's what I'm talking about. They are liking the uh, Guggen Squad clickbait. So sweet. I said that this cove was gonna hold some fish, so I was right about that for sure. They're in here. So we're coming up to a spot over here where there's some more moss. I'm gonna walk over here and cast down the side of that moss and see if we can't pull out. The bigger fish should be over here, I would think. There was some good little wake right there too. So, let's see if we can't hook up on a big one. Oh gosh. There's number three. Nice. Number three, little fishy. Looks like he's got some little spotted on him where he got, tried something tried to eat him. If this is from a, another bass, then that means there's some pretty good sized fish in here. Uh, if it's trying to eat that, you can see on both sides of them, right here. So whatever tried to eat him, you know, his mouth was big enough to go all the way up, you know, four or five inches. So there's a big fish in here somewhere. Oh, there's a big one. Oh my gosh. Oh. Dude, he almost pulled the pole out of my hands. I literally was just saying. <laughs> oh my gosh. He, oh, dude. I'm freaking out right now. I'm like shaking. I'm going to give him just a second. I'm really hoping that that fish hits again. <sighs> he seriously almost just pulled the rod out of my hand. So this uh, opening spot right here, I was dragging it over the top and I just fell down in there. My gosh. I'm not lying. He almost jerked the pole out of my hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a massive bass. All right, so the 
the excuse of the shaky camera a little bit. Uh, kind of in a rush. We're walking back around the pond here, but that was a massive fish, and I'm definitely going to come back and attempt to catch him again. Um, I'm talking about that was probably worth at least a four or five pounder, but really, it could have been bigger than that. Um, you saw that bass was like halfway eaten pretty much 